The show is going on. Gala Theater has been a staple in the Latino community for more than four decades here in the district, but there were real fears it could all come to an end due to a debilitating hack. I broke down in tears. I was absolutely felt like I was hit by a truck. That was Rebecca Medrano when we first spoke to her last week. She was reeling after someone hacked into Gala's bank account and fraudulently transferred more than $250,000. It essentially left Gala without money. It had to temporarily halt production, which meant employees weren't getting paid. Medrano was told it could take eight months to get the money back, which she called a death sentence. But after our story aired and the news spread in the community, there was a major breakthrough. Medrano got the call she had been desperately waiting for from Citibank. I couldn't hear, and I said, excuse me? <laughs> and then I just screamed, and I you know, wanted to let all of the staff, of course, know, and the artists, and, um, and everybody is just so thankful and grateful and relieved. Medrano says she was frustrated at first with City, but now thanks them for restoring the money. In a statement sent to News 4, City said, quote, We appreciate how difficult it can be for an organization to be defrauded. While the circumstances of each case are different, upon careful review, we're pleased to honor this claim and credit our client with its lost funds, end quote. So what do you think made the difference in this case? I know the differences in media and the public pressure. It was incredibly supportive, especially NBC4 was there first. Medrano also thanked the community, which stepped up and donated more than $60,000, which Gala had been using as emergency funds. We are being made whole again. Now the focus shifts back to center stage in Gala Theater, where their next show is set to open on February 1st. Mauricio Casillas, News 4.